Hello everybody, my name is Rico Nasty, and today we're going to do like your average um, Rico Nasty show theme type makeup. Normally my, I feel like my looks are normally gone. They're very dark. We do a lot of under eye stuff. But when I'm not doing that, I really love the glitters. I love the sheen and all that beautiful stuff. Um, skin is very important to me. Skincare is very important to me because sometimes I'm capable of doing three makeup looks in one day. So I always need to make sure my skin is fresh and clear, you know, because we got a lot of packing on there to do. <laughs> I'm going to start this off with the Star Primer Revolution Makeup Water Gel Primer. Okay. So I'm not sure if people like actually put it on their face first. Like I see so many people do the drops. I don't do the drops. We go crazy. We go stupid. And now I do not blend it in first. I literally do all the skincare at one time. Now this is from Pink Label. A lot of times when you put on foundation on some dry spots, it'll like stick incorrectly. So I just put this on there all across my face. And boom, it slides right on. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Priming Oil. Put this the same spots that you put the other ones. You're gonna look wet. Like, I know I look oily as fuck right now. I probably look crazy. But you're gonna look like this. I promise it's worth it. And another thing that's gonna take a lot of time is just making sure that you smooth it out without being too hard on your skin. Because you have to remember this is your skin. You want it to be relaxed. It's just like any other part of your body. So I'm doing just like a small face massage. The foundation! All right, so one thing about foundation is that I hate it. I hate foundation. I suck at it. I'm never able to match my foundation, never been able to put on my foundation really well. But this Hue to Beauty is really fire. And if I'm not using Hue to Beauty, then I'm using Fenty Beauty because um, it's really like an everyday go-to type of look. So yeah, we're going to do the same thing we did for the moisturizer. And we're going to dab it directly on my face. And there's no way in hell I'm gonna walk outside with just foundation. I don't know what it is. People are like, oh, your skin looks so amazing. I'm not walking outside like this. I look like a potato. I'm not walking outside like this. So we're just gonna get those under eyes. Um, fun fact, I shaved my eyebrows so that I can make them go any direction that I want. I started doing my own makeup when I uh, found out that I was pregnant. And my son used to give me these really, really, really bad red, like blotches on my face. And I would never want to go anywhere. So my friends were just like, why don't you just learn how to do your makeup so you can just stop complaining about your blotches. After I had my son, the blotches went away. The makeup skills did not. <laughs> yeah, blending into your neck and behind your ears is always important because if you want to take a picture and you're like, hey, or hey, or you just wanna give that, you know what I'm saying? They will be able to see that you're wearing makeup. They will see it and they will be like, what the, what's going on girl? The next step that I'm gonna do is concealer. Um, my favorite two things right now for concealer right now is this palette, which looks disgusting right now, but it's because I really do use it. I'm not lying, I really use this every day. And I'm using this today. It's by NARS, it's called Biscuit. Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I wanna show you guys a really, really special trick that I do um, when I do have these dark circles on my eyes. I'm gonna do some slight color correcting underneath the eye. Now, I was never a fan of color correcting because I'm like, why would I put red underneath red? Why would I do that? But you shall see. Now we're applying the regular concealer right on top of that red. It's like a peachy, I'm not sure. We're just gonna blend all this out. The next thing I'm gonna do is my setting powder. And I have Hue to Beauty in the color Blondie. This is my favorite setting powder because it smells like cookies. This is my favorite part though, I'm sitting here looking at myself like this. I'm gonna leave this on for a little while. A lot of people tell me that you're supposed to leave it on for a couple seconds, I'm gonna leave mine on while I'm done contouring. And that's what makeup artists do. Okay. Um, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which is kinda weird, because I've never done my eyebrows in front of people, and 
Yeah, don't make me nervous. Right now, I'm a really, really, really big fan of the straight eyebrows. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> so we're gonna go back in with this concealer. And this is the same one I used earlier for my under eye. I put the concealer underneath my eyebrows to just clean up any like mistakes that I might have made along the way. These eyebrows, I feel like my facial expressions are just super like, oh, really? You care? Hmm. 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 So it comes out really cool in pictures without me having to do a lot. Like I could literally just go like this. Someone's like, oh, she looks mad or she's serving face. Like, what? Now this is the Fenty Beauty and Water Breath. And this is like, like come on. You feel me? Like what? Rihanna. Then we're gonna go in with the other one, which is Sangria Sunset. And this is like the best when I feel like my face is too light. So I'm layering like three different highlights to give it like a super glowy, still natural, but super glowy. Like when the light hits me, I want people to have to look away. They're like, bro, this is ridiculous. She put too much on. When I'm on stage, I feel like not a lot of people can really see the details in my makeup. So it's super important for me to make sure my makeup is like, it's extra, it has to be extra. Even when we try to make it look natural, I, this is just because sometimes we get a little bit highlight happy, cool, and we got that sexy line that everyone likes. All right, we're gonna use the foundation brush. We're just gonna smooth it all out. Next step is we're gonna do my waterline. We're gonna just go right in. I feel like I do white eyeliner because it just opens up my eyes, opens up my day. It also makes me look like a cartoon character. I'm gonna use some purple mascara. Now this is my favorite thing to do uh, since it's summertime and everything. I'm gonna take my Smashbox primer water. I'm gonna spray it inside of this contour palette. I have like, I'm gonna put it right here. Literally, it's just a little bit of water. I don't even know if you can see it right there. And then I'm gonna take this brush, swirl it around. This is how we're gonna get my freckles. I started doing my freckles when Susan came out. <sighs> she gives me life with the freckles. I never wanted freckles so bad until I saw hers. I never really was like crazy about my natural face. So in doing makeup and constantly being able to change and look different every day, I feel like it's become somewhat of a coping me mechanism and helping me to love myself and helping me feel beautiful because makeup, you can go left, you can go right, you can go drastic, you can go chill, you can go rock star, you can go glam. There are no limits. There are, there are no limits. Like you can give yourself elf ears. Anything's possible. Now I'm adding the same thing I put on the inside of my waterline, the white, but it's like baby pink. Oh, this. This is like my favorite thing right now. So this is like from Milk Makeup. And um, this is just like, you'll see, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyelashes. It should be simple. Just kidding, this is never the easy thing. I'm so scared. That's not how you put on eyelashes. <laughs> but it's how I put on mine. Whew. All right, so that was a lot. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my bottom lashes. I'm doing three simple steps. That's it, three simple steps. You can get your bottom lashes without bottom lashes. Step one, make sure you ain't got nothing in your hands. Hold it down, P.O.P., you feel me? And from this side, you just go out. You're drawing, you're drawing the lashes. This is your world. They're just living in it, you feel me? So I can show you guys, once again, you just one line down, two on the side. Next step, we're gonna line my lips. Honestly, this is what we're doing. We're going around the parts that's dry, like this chair right there. We're literally going around that. Don't get it to touch the top of your lips. Cause that'll defeat the purpose. So I'm putting this on, on all like the highlight accent parts of the lip. 
Alright, so I think we're done. I'm gonna do my hair, we're gonna do some crazy stuff, but you can't you can't go anywhere in the world. You're not going to a show, you're not going to the club, you're not going on a date until you have taken a shower with your primer water outside the shower. And when I say that, I mean like I know it was expensive, so you don't want to put that much on your face, but you have to. This is how I do my edges. I use this. I use Eco Styling Gel, the biggest one you can find, of course. I'm not gonna use an edge brush. I'm not gonna use none of the shit that you think you're gonna use. I'm gonna use a spoolie and just swoop it down. Hold it. Hair is way different from makeup because, like, for me, makeup is one of those things, like, you can get away with anything. Your hair, there's ways hair needs to be done. So this is my stage look when my makeup artist is not there. I feel like I did a good job. Um, I'm about to go get some brunch. I'm about to go get some drinks. We're about to, you know, show the world this face. And um, that's it. Bye!